question is on Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac and the outrage and will it go private or where Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are going to go? Well, I think this is one of the great tests of reform, of, of a populist reform conservatism. There is zero reason to bail out these two institutions. Uh, they have violated the fundamental principle of why they were created. And I did a fair amount, of, let me be upfront. I did a fair amount of work with Freddie Mac looking at it, consulting it, but not, not at a fiduciary level, but at a general public policy level. I am appalled at the degree of management irresponsibility that both places have had. And I think they should be treated precisely like a private sector institution. And the stockholders and the senior management should, should fundamentally have to bear the brunt. I don't think you want to let them go broke because they're, they're enormous. And that has a big second and third order consequences in the system. But I think what you want to say is a consequence of their survival, they should be broken up. They should go through the equivalent of a, whole, of a receivership and then, and everybody who was profiting from them should pay the cost of having failed. And the general taxpayer should not bear that burden. And I think that could be handled totally different. But there is zero reason now that they have failed. I was perfectly happy to, to not push the issue as long as they weren't failing. But now that they have clearly failed their fiduciary responsibility, there is zero reason for the average taxpayer to bail out these institutions. And their senior managements have been disgraceful in the mismanagement, particularly, I think, of Fannie Mae, which had huge, huge internal problems in terms of accounting in a way you, you can't quite understand. How could people run an institution that badly? We don't want